All right. The only reason you're here is because of these panels or these scenes. And the only reason I'm here is to explain. So let's get started. Before I explain what these panels and scenes are and how this all works, I have to start from the beginning. Shokusaki Bay is the commander of the Knights of the Ashen Flame and a third generation pyrokinetic. Show is a special pyrokinesis because he has two rare ignition abilities, the Adola Burst and Adola Link. There are eight people known as the Pillars who all possess this Adola Burst and Adola Link, and Sho so happens to be the third pillar. Let me give you a quick rundown of the Adola Burst. The Adola Burst is a sacred flame, otherwise known as the original flame originating from the world of Adola. It is the flame of destruction, and the third generations that wield the flame are descendants of the sun god. Now, the Adola Link is a connection between someone and the world of Adola, or Adola Burst. Also, users of the Adola Burst can sense a connection between each other. Now, all this matters because the Adola Burst allows for Sho to have a strong flame and the Adola Link allows for Sho to connect to someone we call the Preacher. Because Sho is able to connect to the Preacher and access the divine protection of her, he is able to unlock fourth generation ability called Severed Universe. This ability allows for Sho to slow down time or even sort of stop it. Sort of. Now this is the part you all have been waiting for. So to explain Severed Universe and Sho's true power basically the man creates his own universe and moves at the speed of light. The end. See you guys next video. Alright, so to understand Severed Universe and how show stops time, quote unquote, you have to understand these three scientific principles. Law of Relativity, Hubble's Law, and Thermal Expansion. After many painstaking hours of research, day after day, night after night of non-stop working, I was finally able to get an understanding of these principles. So, to give you a quick and brief understanding of the Law of Relativity made by this madman, the law of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers, and Einstein showed that the speed of light within the vacuum is the same no matter the speed at which the observer travels. He found that space and time were interwoven to make the space-time continuum. Events that occur at the same time for one observer could occur at different times for another. Because of this, we learned that time is not absolute, but it is relative to your velocity and your acceleration. So basically, time passes slower the faster you are moving, which is the relativity of simonimity. Now on to Hubble's law. Hubble's law states that galaxies are moving away from us at the velocity that is relative to their distance from us. This means that the further a galaxy is from us, the faster it moves away as a galaxy that is closer to us travels away from us at a slower speed. This proves that the universe is expanding and expands at the speed of light. So the closer you get to the center of the universe, the faster the speed of expansion. Now, the last principle is thermal expansion. Thermal expansion is an easy concept to grasp. It basically states that most materials expand on heating and contracts on cooling. For example, a bottle of water cracks when it is heated because the water molecules begin to expand, pushing until they break the bottle. Using these three principles, Sho cools the area around him and is able to reduce the heat of the universe's natural light speed expansion, thus altering his perception of time and everyone around it. Sho slows the expansion to the third of his normal speed. So while Sho sees everything as if it's moving slow, everyone else sees him as if he's moving too fast. He moves further and quicker within the same amount of time. So to put it simply, Show velocity and acceleration are moving relative to the expansion of the universe. He heats up his body by vibrating so hot that the heat expands the universe around him, and when he cools, it slows down the natural speed of the universe. That is the reason when he come out of an attack using Savage Universe, he is extreting steam because he is using heat to cool off the ice and cold he got from using the attack. Now, while all of this is great, Severed Universe isn't that broken of an ability as you might think. There are a few limitations that come along with Severed Universe. The first limitation is a divine protection. In order for Sho to access Severed Universe, as I said before, he must have the divine protection of the Preacher, and the only way to get this is using the Dola Link. So if Sho was like Shinra most of the series where he doesn't have the divine protection, he could never use Severed Universe and travel at light speed. Now to the second limitation, Sho is slowing down time, not stopping it. So attacks or objects moving fast enough in normal time can match Sho's movement and slow time. This happened when Sho showed up during the Vulcan arc. 
and Arthur went to attack Sho. Sho slashed Arthur intending to kill him, but he was able to dodge part of the slash, and even Sho was shocked. The third limitation is objects moving at the same velocity or speed as light speed can instantly bypass the severed universe's effects, as time at any speed cannot affect them or their movement. Fourth and last limitation of severed universe requires cooling of the surrounding area. The fourth and last limitation of severed universe requires this. The fourth and last limitation of severed universe requires cooling of the surrounding air, so much that Sho's body begins to freeze immediately because of the low temperature. This limits Sho for using severed universe for long extended periods of time. Then he must deactivate severed universe to thaw out the ice around his body. All right, this is the end of the video. I had no idea what I was saying this entire time. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my TED talk. Thank you all for coming. See you next time.